The final week of the Ohio high school football season means rivalry week, and we'll have a good one Friday. Central Catholic heads to the Glass Bowl to take on St. Francis. The Irish Knight is on the line, and as Mike Jewell explains, this is a week like no other. The Central Catholic Fighting Irish taking on the St. Francis Knights at the Glass Bowl. It's the Irish Knight Trophy, and it is a great festive week for the schools, the student bodies, and the communities as a whole. But it's also a monumental football game for both teams as the histories and tradition come together and mean something. Let's look at this game, which on paper looks a little bit like a Central Catholic win. It's the final week of the track football season, and the conference is going to end with another title for Greg Dempsey's incomparable Irish. Over on Bancroft, the Knights are coming off a tough, dominant performance against Lima Senior last Friday. I think it's the best game they've played this year. This game matters for St. Francis. You're honoring your seniors, three coaches their last three years, playing for a school and a game that they have come to love. Most likely, the final time for both. Guys like Brian King, Maurice Parker Jones, Nate Smith, Keon Holston, Carson Cordell, and all of those seniors are gonna have an emotional week and Friday night. Keys for the Knights are to keep it simple, play fast and low, stuff the gaps defensively, and force Central Catholic out of their rhythm offensively. The challenge is immense for the Knight defense, but play with the fire and a spirit that comes from your very fiber and play each down with everything you have. King, Houston, and Smith have to lead the challenge to make Chris Edmonds stutter just a touch if you can. If you can stop the run, you've got a chance. With great adversity comes great opportunity. Play loose nights, fast, and for your teammates. Not as dramatically final for Central Catholic, but this Week 10 rivalry closes the book on both the 2022 regular season and a decade of the track. Focus on this moment and the game on the absolute challenge of a rivalry, and more importantly, the process to continue improving as a team for that six week road to state championship glory. Responsibility when you are that talented and the Irish have got it this year. We've talked all year about the brilliant offense spearheaded by Taiwan Clark, Chris Edmonds, Kendrick Bankston and Mark Nave up front. These are rightfully all state athletes the biggest key this week, play with tempo, precision, and explosion. But I gotta talk defense, as that is what completes this 2022 Central Catholic team. Up front, Tyler Jackson, Mike Cannons, and Ronald Collins eat up blockers and destroy the line of scrimmage. Those three allow linebackers Cody Schubert, DeAndre Allis, Ramon Foster to be the prototype Irish linebackers, remarkably smart, fast, and physical. I love how good these guys are against the pass this year. Still, the same old run destroyers and blitzers. But the key, the man, the tone setter, the rhythm maker, heart and soul, and master of disaster in this six week march. Check out Braden Alls Friday night. So ferociously stoic. His ability to make all the plays. A coverage guy at safety who's a remarkably adept tackler and a punishing hitter. Alls is the landmark for this Irish defense. Jump on the bandwagon and go, go for the Irish as they march into the playoffs after you take care of business in the Irish night game. Stay healthy, good luck, and get after it.